There we go. I can see him on the big screen. We have hooked up with uh, comedian Greg Warren. Hello, Greg. And, uh, oh, he's got a picture behind him of Warren Haynes, the stellar guitarist for uh, Government Mule and uh, the Allman Brothers and many other bands. Uh, Among the many... You're sucking up today, aren't you, Warren? Yeah. Among the many things Tom has taught me, I had no idea who Warren Haynes was until I met you, Tom. Yeah, now, none of us did. The first day, listen, you like this, Greg. The first time Warren Haynes was in here, he was in here with uh, Greg Allman and Dickie Betts, and the three of them, we were we were interviewing them, and I, I always loved this about Dickie Betts. We, we had never heard of Warren before. He just joined the Allman Brothers. And in the middle of the interview, uh, Dickie grabs a, a pen and writes the name Warren Haynes in a piece of paper with an arrow and shoves it over to me so I'll remember to introduce him again, which I thought was kind of cool. Very cool, yeah. What a nice guy. Yeah. I mean, if you didn't do it, Dickie Betts would have hit you with a hammer or something. <laughs> <laughs> the man's a brilliant guitarist. Well, he sure is, but he's... Uh, uh, now, and I understand that uh, Greg Warren... Let's see how long we can go without Greg talking at <laughs> all. Well, I'm just trying to get the proper introduction here. Hi, Greg. Oh, real quick, Greg, I'm sorry I didn't call you back. That's that's fine, Josh. I don't expect much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Greg is uh, coming up this weekend at the Funny Bone in Dayton, Ohio, Friday and Saturday, and just added... A Monday Valentine's Day show. All right. Uh, is Valentine's that wise? Day evening with, with Greg Warren. How cool is that? Is that a good choice? That it's would a, good be a sweet date. Go yeah. see Greg. Yes, he's Greg is clean. He's super funny. As much as his comedy, trust me, is not for me. It's perfect for <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> there it is. Greg, I am so sorry. Uh, uh, now, the Warren Report, uh, in which uh, Greg will examine something and um, uh, thoroughly... Uh, Examine it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, we've learned a lot about uh, various things, including popcorn. And oh, other. yeah, that's right. Oh, yes. What's our, top, what's our topic today, Greg? Uh, topic today, Tom, is the history of the ice cream man. Oh, oh I right. love the ice cream man. Yeah. yeah. So in, in, the, uh, the early, uh, in the 1800s, uh, the ice cream men were, uh, were all immigrants that had push carts. There was no refrigeration. Uh, they just had blocks of ice to keep the ice cream cool. And they they wheeled around and they served a thing called penny licks. Now, penny licks, basically, they would put a, uh, a small bit of ice cream in a dish and people would eat the ice cream and then they would lick the dish and then they would dip the dish in a bucket of water and serve the next person uh, uh, ice cream. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, I knew this would bother you, Tom. Oh. You know, Greg, uh, Penny Licks is also the name of a groupie that the Allman Brothers used to have around quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and licks, to say the least. <laughs> uh, so, so, needless to say, a lot of people got sick during that time sure. from ice cream. Some people died from ice cream. And uh, what did society blame it on? Vanilla. They said it was the artificial <laughs> flavoring is why everybody was dying. They, they got a lot of stuff wrong back then. Oh. Like, hey, how come How come you guys think you're getting so much syphilis? Top hats? It's definitely <laughs> top hats. <laughs> the top hats. <laughs> if you wear them too tight, the felt gets in there and it syphilizes you. Uh, <laughs> Which I, I shouldn't really, you know, my generation had plenty of misconceptions, too. During the 90s, we thought the reason people were fat is because they were not eating enough uh, fat-free snack well cookies from Nabisco. <laughs> yes. uh, Man, those or were cottage good. cheese. <laughs> those, were, those were so yeah, good. Cottage cheese. Well. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Josh. The health plate at Steak and Shake, it was a hamburger with cottage cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm watching my weight. Yeah, so uh, in 1919, uh, a fellow named Christian Nelson figured out a way to uh, to uh, form a chocolate shell around ice cream. The oh. trick is uh, cocoa butter, and that was the first Eskimo pie. Oh, in nice. 1920, over in uh, Youngstown, Ohio, this guy named Harry Burt, a candy maker, uh, made his own Eskimo pie, served it to his daughter, and uh, it was good, but she got chocolate over her hands. Oh, boy. And... Uh, Harry Jr., the son, said, hey, why don't you put a lollipop stick in that Eskimo pie? Yeah, why don't you and mind your own business, Harry Jr.? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My company, that not is, yours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that is how uh, the first good humor bar was born. Oh. And I kind of agree with you. Josh, like you always hear about these inventions. You never hear about you never hear about the 50 things they did wrong before they hit on something. It's like, yeah. 
Yeah, that kid said put a stick in everything for two years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scrambled eggs on a stick, that's stupid, son. It's stu- You can't put a whole watermelon on a stick. It's basic <laughs> physics. <laughs> so, uh... So that's how the good humor of bar was born. Now, Harry was a pretty bright guy. He uh, didn't just figure out how to put ice cream on a stick. He um, he noticed a couple of trends. Uh, mm-hmm. In the 1920s, there was a lot of advances in refrigeration, and there was the proliferation of automobiles. So Harry outfitted uh, 12 good humor trucks, mm-hmm. uh, and that was the, the first ice cream men. Um, now, Harry... <laughs> He was he was uh, a, a smart guy, but he was he was kind of militant. Like they all had to wear white, mm-hmm. all white. Mm-hmm. Um, and the reason for that was um, they wanted people to be reminded of nurses and sort of uh, cleanliness and an antiseptic feeling. Oh. Yeah, after make them... that penny licking thing. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> Christy. <laughs> exactly. They they wanted him to forget about penny licks. Uh, and, and <laughs> so uh, he also though like. They had to shine their shoes every day. They were inspected, and they had to speak in a certain way. They were not allowed to say um, good humor ice cream. They had to say ice cream, good humor, and salute the customers. Oh, how about that? Yeah, it's, it, it was like, it's, it reminds me of when I was at West Point. You know, like there was, like, <laughs> we had to say stuff in a certain way. Like, Warren, what's in the news? Sir, today in the New York Times, it was reported that Ronald Reagan, Ronald Warren, Ronald, are you on a first name basis with the commander in chief, Warren? Are you buddy, buddy? With the pre- <laughs> Sir, today in the New York Times, it was reported that President Reagan, did I tell you to start over, Warren? No, sir. <laughs> Warren, give me the days, sir. The days. Mm-hmm. There are 200 days until graduation. There are 123 days until ring weekend. There are 40 <laughs> days until Army beats the hell out of Navy at Veterans <laughs> Memorial Stadium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, Warren! Pittsburgh! Did they move Veterans Memorial Stadium from Philadelphia to Pittsburgh? And not tell me, Warren? Who's behind that, Warren? Was it your buddy, Ronnie? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, so anyways, uh, you know, they, they did well, the good humor men did well. Um, and they, they, he attached sleigh bells, uh, to the, uh, to the trucks to, to let the kids in the neighborhood know that they were coming. Oh, mm. um, couple things like ice cream men were killing it in the depression. These guys, the good humor men made like a hundred bucks a day in the thirties. Oh my wow. God. Which, yeah. That's like $1,800 a day today. Wow. Like they were killing it. And um, ice cream, they, there was a lot of ice cream sales during the Depression. Like, it, it was, people bought a lot of ice cream. You never hear about that when the old guys are bitching. You know, <laughs> oh, we, had to, we had to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. And we, oh, you guys were eating ice cream every day. How hard could it be? Uh, <laughs> every day, you ass. Well, yeah. uh, yeah. Greg, real quick, what, uh, where did you go to humor start? What state or... Uh... Do you know? Youngstown? Well, uh, he, oh. Youngstown, yeah. He was okay. from Youngstown, Ohio. So it yeah, all started yeah. in the Midwest? Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. Are they? Is it um, still the Good Humor Man? Is that still the franchise? Uh, no, they uh, they kind of got out of the truck business in the 1970s. They sold the business and focused now on uh, sort of consumer. You uh, guys um, you guys know this about me. When I was a kid, my best friend, he's still my best friend, his brother owned a Mr. Softy truck. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he would drive and uh, sell ice cream. We'd get uh, ice cream for free. Really? Wow. It was a glorious summer. <laughs> sure. Those things are still around, Jack. Yeah. The Mr. Softies. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Softies. And you can imagine the guy that drives that when he gets home. His wife. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah that's Mr. a tough Softie. one. Living up to the that name. That was uh, that was the Conway boys in Philly. They invented Mr. Softy. No kidding. Um, yeah, and they uh, they had the first jingle. Oh. Um, and 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 people found out that uh, jingles and music uh, uh, drew more customers in. Uh, than the sleigh bells, two to one, as a matter of fact. Mm. Uh, wow. okay. don't My favorite sh- thing about Mr. Softy is uh, there, <laughs> there's a lot of people try to infringe on their business. My favorite copycat was Master Softy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, really? <laughs> <laughs> Problematic. No, 
We just came up with that. We had, we, we had, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like the folks that stole Mr. Obvious from our show mm -hmm. and Captain Obvious. Captain Obvious. Obvious yeah. mm -hmm. very, very different. Oh, things. they did take that, didn't they, man? Yeah, they no, sure no, jerks. No, 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 they stole um, it. Really back a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. I <laughs> sort of agree with like that one. Yeah. Greg, yeah. the reason oh, I asked uh, about the, the Ohio thing is because I would have guessed somewhere out west where it was warm all year round. Uh, because months, you know, they've, yeah. they've got to lose. You don't see the yeah. ice cream man in the winter. That would have been a stupid guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Do they, uh, is it just me or do they always play that? Sometimes you hear the entertainer. Yep. Go to Weasel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, entertainer. Uh, there's uh, one one song called Turkey in the Straw. Sure. You want to tell the story? Is, a, a horribly racist song. You know, uh, it, 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 Tom, Tom and I were at a wedding, and it was a hot day in June, and the uh, the windows were down in the church, and there was a guy <laughs> selling ice cream, and it was playing Turkey in the Straw, <laughs> yes. and you could plainly hear it wafting through the windows <laughs> yeah. as they're taking their Very vows. solemn moment. And I really wish I'd gone outside to get some ice cream. Yeah, me too. We, then we had to wait an hour in a locked basement. <laughs> Their oh. pictures taken, and they had so no good. nothing to drink. Uh. Sorry. Why'd you stay? Yeah, uh, Turkey and the Straw, uh, uh, people didn't realize how racist it was. So they um, <laughs> actually, RZA from uh, the Wu-Tang Clan yeah, Rizzo? wrote his. That's, a, that, that's, that's how he, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I, I should, should. Yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> that was that was useful, Josh, actually. Uh, it was useful, Josh. Uh, it really is, yeah. yeah. Yes. How does yeah. he spell it? Good job. RZA. RZA. Like SZA? S-A-S-A? -S -S yeah, the RZA, yeah. RZA. Yeah, RZA um, wrote, wrote uh, uh, his own ice cream uh, jingle, and apparently, I think that, that came out in 21. Um, oh, okay. Sort of, uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hey, uh, Chick, yeah. um, as long as we're talking ice cream, uh, I like to let people know what's out there. This is not ice cream man stuff, just ice cream in general. The number one sellers are private label. There's just a lot of regional brands out there. What do you think's uh, two? Uh, gosh, is it a nationwide brand? Yeah, yeah. yeah big uh, Ben and Jerry's? Yeah, uh, yeah, Tom. I, I had sort of asked Chick, but oh, yeah, sorry, Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> oh, well, hang on, I haven't guessed yet. Is it Ben and Jerry's? <laughs> yeah, it's Ben and Jerry's. Chick, good thanks, job. Thanks good a lot. Job. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, Bluebell. Oh yeah, uh, That's a popular one. I like Bluebell. Uh, sure. Yeah, down there from Texas. They're real cocky about that down there. I used oh, to yeah. live in Houston. Uh, what, what's number four, Chick? Um, uh, Briar. Um, I would have guessed Briars. Edie's, whatever. Hagen dazs Seal test. Hagen dazs Hagen dazs is uh, is number four. Hagen dazs Did you guys realize it's it was never a Danish company. It was just a couple in the Bronx huh. that wanted to come up with a Danish name. And apparently, this guy, this guy that invented it, he sat at his kitchen table. His daughter told the story. Sat at his kitchen table, just saying nonsensical phrases for like three hours to figure out one that sounded good. I just, I wish I would have heard the other ones, you know, like a slippy lippy boom boom. No, no, no. no that one doesn't uh, work. Uh, <laughs> Freka Jean Bambui. Uh, oh, that's a little I bet a lot of them sounded uh, like sloppy waka sex. Waka Flocka. No, not for ice cream, but hold on to that one. I think, I think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can use that somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, do, so we, does we, it have we, a meaning? Does it, is there, does hot no, dust mean anything? No, I don't think so. Ice cream for um, days? It doesn't mean anything? Hmm. I huh. don't think it does. I think Hagen it's just nonsense. Does. How about that? Delicious. I'll tell you that. Very good. I'll yeah. taste it. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Uh, um, you guys cream. had mentioned Breyers is uh, is uh, part of the Good Humor brand now, and they're number five. Huh. They're good. Uh, number six, Turkey Hill, which... Oh, okay. uh, I've heard of that. Yep. Yeah. That's a yeah, isn't that like some convenience stores up in Pennsylvania? Yeah, or the something? Wawa there, I think, of the Turkey Hills. Yeah. Oh, the old Wawa. Yeah, Real old Wawa. There. Yeah. Yep. Pat, a Wawa. Oh, that's right. You're a Philly sandwich. guy. Wawa. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's a good convenience. Yeah, Turkey store. Hills all over the place. Yeah. Now you don't see it as often anymore because it's associated with Turkey and the Straw on the Hill. <laughs> it's a uh, nothing. <laughs> wow. What is he, what is I, I was good. I was, was thinking it? of attempting a George Harrison joke. You know, I don't need your Wawa. <laughs> But uh, you were gonna go there Again. instead of. Well, I thought that might get a <laughs> recognition laugh. Yeah. The uh, the great song "Wawa" from uh, "All up. Things Must Pass." No, no one, one knows, knows that song. What? No, no, oh, it's no got one, one of the I'm great guitar a, riffs of all time. Are you familiar with that song, Greg? Wawa. No, of course not. You're a person. I'm not. Uh, you. But I bar I barely knew who Warren Haynes was before I got this poster. <laughs> when it showed up, I thought it was a picture of Dean. Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, that does look like Dean. That's when a nice guitar. Up, you wait, you're, you're yeah. buying those? You're you didn't that? You're find that online and print it out? It's framed, Josh. Yeah, I'm buying them. Oh. Hey, <laughs> hey, Greg, listen to this. Listen to this riff. Dumb it's ass. incredible. Uh. Isn't that nice? Gets better. Recognize it now? No. Nobody it does. 20 more seconds. It's very good. What is it? I it's like it. Here it comes. Is that George Harrison? Yep, here we go. Yeah, it's uh, Eric it's and George. It's great, but no one knows it. Well, then that's they're uneducated losers. You got to know about George and Eric. Come on. Well, I think they Man, people, that's... Uh, I, I got to check that out. That's pretty good. People I mean. are more focused on uh, the real hits. Like, I got my mind set on you. Oh, yeah. Very I nice. like that song. I do, too. That's, that's a good song. Yeah, that's, a, that's a real good song. Uh, we got to sign what up. What about I wanna Cracker say, Box uh, Palace? Uh, oh, that's, uh, not so much. Uh, Greg Warren, once again, speaking of uh, the invention of ice cream in Ohio and the good humor man. Uh, Greg will be in Dayton, Ohio, Friday, Saturday. Special show added a week from tonight. A Valentine's Day night show with Greg Warren. That'll be great. Yeah. Uh, but Greg, thanks so much. It's Always about time you're pleasure. starting to research good humor. <laughs> oh. Wow. It's just, the digs just don't Man, stop, do they? Wow. <laughs> been really taking a lot of shots at me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Greg. I'm glad you didn't call me back, you jerk. <laughs> okay, thanks, Greg. Uh, 